In 2011, scientists made an amazing discovery. They say there are nearly 9 million animal species living on Earth, many times more than we previously thought. The problem is that about 86% of these creatures are still undiscovered and scientists have never seen them, so we don't have a detailed description of these animals. People living in cities can only see wild animals in zoos and most of them are adult animals. But today we are going to show you the babies of various animals. Let us know in the comments which animals you would like to see, be it a great dragon lizard or a deer whose mass is less than a puppy. And now, let's get started. Cotton Top Tamarin In Central and South America, you can find the most beautiful monkeys on Earth. The Calatricidae family of monkeys has many species, but they all have one thing in common, a long moustache and a very small body weight, no more than a kilogram. Interestingly, cotton top tamarin often give birth to twins, and father monkeys also participate in parenting. The cotton top tamarin is considered one of the funniest species in the wild. They live only in Cambodia and are known for their white coats. Unfortunately, throughout the history of these monkeys, they have suffered from a lot of threats from humans. In the past, Indians hunted them for their meat, and in the 19th century, noble families in Paris used to keep these little monkeys in their homes to show their status in society. Today, most of Tamarin's natural habitat is destroyed. They have nowhere to live. Therefore, a large number of them live in specialized centers and sanctuaries where they will be cared for by professionals. There is another cute monkey in the Calatricidae family, the Golden Lion Tamarin. They were given this name for possessing a wonderfully thick mane. This monkey species lives in eastern Brazil and is very rare. It is listed in the Red Book as an endangered species because their numbers in the wild do not exceed more than 1,000 individuals. Golden Lion Tamarins spend most of their lives in trees, jumping like professional acrobats. They only get to go to the ground level when absolutely necessary. In 2014, this animal was one of the candidates to become the mascot of the Soccer World Cup held in Brazil. Buru Babarusa you might think you are seeing ordinary warthogs or wild boars when you see these tiny Buru Babarusa. Buru Babarusa is completely different from other common pigs. They have even been placed in a separate genus called Babarusa. They live in the Indonesian island of Sulawesi and in the swampy reed areas of some territories. An adult Babarusa weighs no more than 80 kilograms. Its most distinguishing feature from normal pigs is that its upper canines grow and bend like tusks. This feature is unique to males and zoologists have not yet figured out why Babarusa need tusks when they do not use tusks to hunt. Buru deer are extremely independent. At only 10 days old, they can leave their mother and forage for themselves. They eat almost anything from small mammals to leaves, berries, mushrooms and fish. To reach plants and tall branches and shrubs, they often stand on their hind legs. Chevrotain do you remember Bambi, the cute little deer from Disney? When you watch the movie, you can see that Bambi is tiny when his mother was killed by a hunter. But in reality, deer in this family are even smaller in size. They are only about 20 to 40 centimeters tall. The weight of the largest of this species is 15 kilograms, much smaller than that of a domestic dog. Chevrotain is the smallest mammal on Earth and is also very cute. Chevrotains live in West Africa, Southeast Asia and Sri Lanka. They eat plants, small insects, rodents and fish. Chevrotain hunts only at night. During the day, they hide in the hollows of trees and bushes to avoid predators. Chevrotains leave their parents at the age of five months and become completely independent. It is amazing that 50 million years ago, when Chevrotain appeared on Earth, they were excellent swimmers. They can stay underwater for a long time to hide from predators. This behavior is very surprising for mammals. That's why some scientists think there may be a connection between Chevrotain and ancient whales. Yakana. These funny looking birds live in a tropical and subtropical region and have a lot in common with cowboys. They have spurs on both legs and use them to easily move on the aquatic plants, floating leaves in shallow water. 
Although they do not have web feet, this bird usually lives near lakes and swims very well. Look at its legs length relative to its body size. It looks quite funny, like chicks. The size of their feet and claws as well as the way they distribute their weight when moving makes it possible for them to walk on floating leaves. Some species of yakana look like mythological creatures from horror movies as their legs sometimes look quite creepy. Look at this picture. It's not a scary bird with many legs. It's a male yakana hiding little yakanas under his wings. Mole for some reason, many people still consider the mole as a large animal. However, the average mole weighs no more than 100 grams. Each day, the amount of food that the mole consumes is more than their body weight and they cannot go without food for more than 14 hours like other animals. Baby moles look very small. Their heads are only slightly larger than a human fingernail. After 30 days, they become completely independent and can leave their parents. Moles have many amazing features, such as their hair growing straight up, not in any direction. This is why when they are wet, dirt does not cling to their fur and this is very important for living underground. In one night, a mole can dig a tunnel of about 50 meters long. This tunnel is considered a storehouse to store food as they can hardly survive without eating. Most species of mole rats tend to eat earthworms. There is a misconception about mole rats that they are blind. This is not entirely true. These animals' eyes are difficult to see because their skin has many folds and in keeping with underground lifestyle, they often close their eyes so their vision is not very accurate. Mole rats can still see sunlight and distinguish night from day. Shubal This East African bird looks like a mysterious prehistoric creature that is both fascinating and a bit scary. Looking at its huge beak, you will realize that it looks similar to a wooden shoe. Of course, this particular beak was used for a specific purpose. Thanks to this, the shubal can catch fish as well as make sounds to communicate with their relatives. This bird has an impressive size compared to the rest of the species on the list. They are more than one meter tall with a wingspan of more than two meters. So it is not surprising that their nest size is also very large with a diameter of about two and a half meters. The female will lay one to three eggs, but usually only one young survives. Pay attention to their eyes. Unlike most other feathered relatives, it has human-like vision. For a long time, biologists were unable to take a picture of this bird moving. It can sit in ambush for hours waiting for its prey. At the right time, it will rush to catch its prey and then spit out unnecessary things like algae and water from its beak. Their beaks are like fishing nets. Sometimes they can even hunt baby crocodiles. Cordylus you are seeing a type of lizard with an unusual defense strategy. When in danger, it usually bites its tail and curls up like a ring to protect itself from enemies. That shape looks rather amusing. They possess rather large scales, something special compared to their small body size. When curled up, they look like little dragons. Another interesting thing is that these lizards are considered carnivores. They give birth and take care of their young, unlike most other lizards. These lizards can only be found on the African continent. Above are seven baby animals you've probably never seen before. If you find an animal that fits this list, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to receive our latest videos. Thanks and see you next time.